Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Who are you running from, anyway? What's the matter, Duke? Have you used your hands? Crooked promoters. Why'd you do it, Duke? Angry managers. One simple task, and you blew it. I put my faith, and I put my money in you. One false move, and I'll blow your head off. What you do? Well, I was a boxer. Some boxing chump you are. But nobody gives a rat's ass about you. It makes for some very angry people after me. Who else wants me dead? This is fucking crazy. This is personal now. You! And who is that? She's my niece. Yeah, how do I know that? By the way, it's prize fight, not pride fight. And you should know that. I'm Cognac Bolalane. We're here at the Anthology Archives for the screening of Rotten Luck. And I'm here with filmmaker, producer, director, Mr. Joseph Melly. What a fabulous film. All the press oh, it's you. getting. It's an amazing, it looks like an amazing, amazing film. Well, we're all going to find that tonight with the response are going to be from the people that are going to come and view the movie. And hopefully it's good. The, uh, the people that have watched it so far have asked me, how come you didn't continue it? I want to make it short, but once you get really get into it, you can't continue unless you don't have the, the final you know, ending to the movie. So like I said, let's see what, I would, uh, the, what it feels like tonight with the responses. I might continue the movie. Yeah, well, you might get a big distributor too. That would be an even better thing, right? Oh yeah, that would be really great if I could get a distributor or somebody that would be interested. And take undertaking this film and maybe bringing it to uh, Hollywood. Would oh, that's you like that? Oh, that'd be great. It's a long, long shot, but hey, you know yeah, what? You, you never know. So I've seen stuff like this right. be taken all the way to Hollywood. But what? Get the right person looking at it and very interested in the film. Tell my audience, what, why this film? Why did you pick this type of movie to make? Because it's a little sentimental story. It's about a boxer that's down on his luck, and he really wants to be, uh, has no, no family wants to make it in the boxing industry, he is going to make it, but uh, his uh, promoter or whatever, which he thinks is his friend, is, is actually a crook. He, like, he, he's, he bookies, he, he bets on fight, but he's uh, kind of slow to understand what the reality is. Mm -hmm. So then he has a falling out because he, he throws one fight, but then he's asked to throw a second fight, which he, if you have to throw it, he actually wins the fight because, he, because you know, his, his, his fan, his loyal followers were booing him. They, they, you know, they, they, they knew that, they, they, you know, that the fight that he lost was an easy fight for him to win. So when he did win the fight, then he was chased by the bomb. He wound up taking the boss's you know, car, and then there was money and other and, uh, stuff that belongs to the boss. And then he goes to this motel, which he meets this uh, lady that uh, you know, kind of like almost has a, a feeling for her, which she's also on the run. So he has a romantic... Uh, a little romantic, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Interesting. 
That's and sort of like his leading lady in the film. Yes, it's something that's something that they're both a little hard on each other, but then they kind of like mellow out a little. She has a problem of her own. She came from LA, came you know to this motel where he is, and uh, you know he doesn't know who she is, and he you know he's, he's, he suspects something about her, and uh, she thinks she's there to kind of save her. So it's like two people just thrown somewhere uh, without them knowing what's going to happen, whatever. They, you could say they're running from something and they just found and each other. They're brought together by certain circumstances. Yes, exactly. You yeah. like my... Oh, you're great at this. You're better yes. than me. My mind, so I'm trying to pick the words out of my mind. I can, you know. Who wrote the, the screenplay? Oh, I did. You wrote this? What I know and whatever, but I watch a lot of movies. I love yeah, movies. I was film. just going to say, it reminds me from the story that you're telling me. It kind of is like something that I... Like a movie I saw with Kirk Douglas or... Burt Lancaster, I mean, like a film from old Hollywood. Yeah, because you know you have a lot of film right now. There's a lot of good movies, a lot of movies with a lot of money, and when your funds are like, you know, you don't have a lot of money to put together. You're trying to get the audience by showing them a good movie and a also good a good story and a little, yeah. you know, decent acting, whatever, actually good acting for what you can come up with. And then it came out to be nicely, uh, I think, pretty good movie. Let me ask you, this film that you just produced, Rotten Luck, did you draw inspiration from a specific movie uh, from old Hollywood, from something that maybe Kirk Douglas made? Or? Oh, no, no, not really. Sometimes, you know, you, you watch so many movies and you study the movements that are made, the lighting or the angles, and you're trying to come up with it. And you say, oh, if I make this movie, I want to use this angle, do that. But then, you know, once you get the camera and you start making it, that goes out the window because yeah. it's a lot harder than... Your mind can, yeah, your mind I know, has I know, because I, I sort of make my own little movies with these interviews yeah. that I do. Tell my audience, how long did it take you to film this movie? Well, actually, we shot about, it came a half hour, we shot about 45 minutes. Some lead scenes we deleted, whatever. We are actually in a pretty good role. Some days we worked like 12 hours or more. And I would say if I put all the hours together, it would be, let's say, an eight hour schedule. I would think it took about eight days. Eight days, eight only months, yeah. only eight days. Through how many months? I don't know. We did a, we did a, within a, a couple of days interval in between. We did like four days, all two, uh, two days straight. Then we did about four days, sh almost straight. And then we did we did we did the. Uh, so you would program. say maybe uh, approximately between a week and a half, two weeks. Exactly. Well, a lot less if you put yeah. See, More what takes time sometimes is uh, getting the actors to do the parts and edit, put the lighting and moving. Sometimes, like, you know, if you just to shoot the scene for a minute or whatever, it takes you an hour or more to talk it over, to you know, get the actors going. Because, like I said, you know, like, they're, they're good, they're professional, but you know what? They're, they're not like Hollywood. They've been acting for years or whatever. They're all great. They all did the great part. Mo Ziamata was the one that he meets in a motel. And, uh, you know, the, the, he's not here yet. It's Joe, Joe Rams, the actor, the one who portrayed the killer in the movie. He was also, you know, great. You know, but, but like I said, we would do great work with a little few people that we have, a little bit of, let's say, knowledge, limited funds, but everything came, came, came together. Nicely packaged, a nice yeah. ensemble of cast, and a nice little movie that we're all going to enjoy watching. Tell my audience, where can we go on the internet to find out more information about your films? Oh, you could go on danjofilms.com and uh, we're going to also upload more movies, more things that we've done on it. And we also, maybe we're going to change also the website to add up even more. Now, you're also working on some features, too. Yes, I want to try to make a feature. People say, no, 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 don't do it. It's a little hard to try to keep but going with a sci-fi. But I mean, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm eager. I know, I can see I want that. to come out of the fence fast and do you the next want, one. You want I like to make a feature, feature yes. Film. Yeah. I don't blame you. I would be just like you don't want to slow down. I'm not that you get the taste. Not that we get the taste for the first movie. It came out good, and I just can't wait to do the the second one in, in a feature. Hopefully, with you know better equipment, more well, now I have more knowledge of what to expect, what could go wrong, right. and hopefully I could make a better uh, you're the second better movie. You're on your way, darling. You're on your okay. way. One more time, the website. Oh, uh, adventurefilms.com. Look great. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at the Anthology Archives on 32nd Second Avenue. Keep watching. More of the film coming up. Big champagne kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.